Well, good morning. You're watching Morning at NTV. It's time for us to take note. A conversation we have had here before, but to remind you that the top 100 gala dinner is happening tomorrow, Friday. But just to recap what this is, because it's not the, this has been a journey that's been here for a while. How many years are we celebrating also? Um, who's been eligible? Of course, given that there's an awarding night, it's done for that. But next year, what are you, you as an SME, as a company, what can you do to make sure you're part of this top 100 um, gala dinner? I have have the brand manager of MPL, that is Monitor Publications Limited, and the East African. I should know how to say that because Kolila, <laughs> Elizabeth Namaganda. Good morning. Good morning, Flavia. Welcome back, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So we've had, I think this is going to be the third conversation about top 100. Yes. And many people have actually probably just seen the ad and they're saying, okay, is this only for companies that work with MPL, uh, just their partners, mm -hmm. it's sidelined? What is it? Then there's also the top 100 survey. Yes. So which is which? Okay. Uh, tomorrow mm. we shall be holding the gala. Mm. And the gala is more like uh, crowning of the top 100 2018. Yes. So what happens is in processes. Uh, at the beginning, we do the survey, okay. which is the top 100 mid-sized company survey. Mm -hmm. And in the survey, we are trying to recruit companies of which we shall choose the top 100 that Form. have made okay. it. Yes. And how does it happen? Um, any company that has an annual turnover of 360 million shillings mm -hmm. to 25 billion is eligible to participate. Yes. So when they participate, we have two questionnaires, like I've said even in the past. One of the questionnaires is the financial questionnaire, and mm -hmm. the other is the general questionnaire. Okay. So there are two different reports mm -hmm. that are done by our consultants. Uh, the first report is that derived from the business questionnaire or the general questionnaire, mm -hmm. and that basically looks at BCI okay. and um, opportunities in the market, yes. how people have seen the economy, what has changed, what will not change, do they hope to hire more employees, mm -hmm. what do they hope to change, do they hope to expand. So it's basically looking at the general information. You want to see the growth also of this company, where it is? The growth, the growth, you'll get it in the, gen, in the financial question. In the financial question. Yes, yes, the general questionnaire looks at what has been happening in the economy. Okay. If people have be faced higher taxes, all the mm. operating costs are very yes, high, yes. and that, you'll get their opinions. It's basically looking at opinions, basically. Okay. Yes, what has been happening in the market? What do they hope for next year? Are they optimistic that things will change? Mm -hmm. All they are not. Getting worse. Exactly. Mm. What challenges are they meeting? So those are some of the things that come out in the general okay. report. And today, we're having the conference at Serena Hotel mm. in Choga Hall. And that is going to be looking at the general information. That oh, is the general report. Okay. We shall be unveiling the results of the survey. Okay. And then, uh, we shall be using Dr. Fred Muhumza, mm -hmm. who is an economist. Everybody knows. He knows where we're going mm -hmm. and what the shortcomings are, what the challenges are, the opportunities and all that. Yeah. So he'll be taking through the participants what they need to look out for, where mm -hmm. they need to change, what strategies should they take, and all that. And uh, that is based on the results that come out. Okay. Different from the other years, we've been trending using three years, say the past three years. Mm -hmm. But right now, we are looking at the past 10 years. Okay. When we started top 100 in 2008, what was it? And right now, what is there? What are the changes when you look at the yes. report? What has changed? Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things we're going to be looking at, and he mm -hmm. will be trying to show the participants which direction to take. To take definitely. Now, the other questionnaire is the financial questionnaire. Financial, yes. Yes. You mm -hmm. said, first of all, that there must be uh, the turnover of 360 million? 360 million shillings to 25 to billion. 25 billion, billion yeah. Exactly. Now, those have already participated. Okay. And as I speak, we had 196 companies participate this oh, year. Wow. And of which we shall choose the top, top 100. 100. Yes. Okay. So what our partners, KPMG, does mm. is they look at the financials. We use ratios. Mm -hmm. We shall have the turnover, but we shall then have to compute through mm -hmm. to get the different ratios. So they will use those same ratios to see who has ranked as the top oh, 100. Of course. Uh, what is different, or what uh, usually people look out for, people will say a company will come number one or mm -hmm. number two. And somebody will say, but my annual turnover is much more than, than that, that one. Yes. Exactly. Now, the difference is one who has an annual turnover of 5 billion mm -hmm. may actually do much more better than one who has an a new turnover of 25 billion. Okay. So it is all depending on how you manage your cash flows, mm. how are you paying suppliers, uh, what are your debts, and all that. Okay, I yes. think um, when we had, is it uh, Peter Chambad? Yes, please. He did explain that, yes, you might have uh, 
made more money yes. than the other company. But mm -hmm. this company is showing a real trajectory of improvement. Yes. There are trends exactly. we can see. And yes. which, of course, um, as we were explaining, that you need to have mm -hmm. this money, but you also need to have audited books. And yes. I, was it you're not supposed to be on the stock exchange? Yes. Now, that is the survey. Because we are done with it, that's why I didn't talk about it. Ah, Usually, right, right, there right. are three things we look out for. Your annual turnover has to be th between 360 to 25 billion, billion? shillings. Yeah. You must not be a listed company. Mm. You must not be a bank or insurance. Yes. And why? Because the three listed bank or insurance have already gone through a rigorous process. Yeah. <laughs> so we already think their books of accounts are at least mm. up to date. Yes. Unless otherwise they're hiding something, mm -hmm. but usually they've gone through a rigorous process. Okay. Yes. Before we go into what the criteria was for picking whoever is going to be the top 100 or, you know, what will it be? Perhaps somebody would ask, okay, so what is the point? Ten years now, what, yeah. what is the reason for having this, you know, awards or surveys? Why top 100? Uh, there is, today we're celebrating ten years, rather tomorrow ten tomorrow, years, like yes. we've said. And uh, somebody will be asking the reason why we're doing top 100. But we realize that in this market, so many businesses open up, mm -hmm. but they also close yes. at the same rate at which they open up. So by the time somebody has graduated to 360 million, should they start small yes no they start suffering mm. there's a lot of um, challenges that they are facing mm. so there was no person in this market or any company that was looking at that sector mm. and yet in all developed countries most corporate companies develop from SMEs mm -hmm. so in this market it had been ignored yes. and there was no motivation there was no reason to why businesses probably were running they didn't have anybody to deal with their challenges yes. but right now for all the companies that participate if you've seen, most of them actually use some of our results to do bid to go into the bidding processes. Mm. And we also take them through what they need to do. Yes. We invite the different people. UIA is there. Uh, they've been, there has been this whole talk where people say most of the land goes to foreign investors. Mm -hmm. And then the local investors are not sorted. UIA came on board. And such things have now died away when okay. you look at it. Yeah, as in the perception has now changed mm. because of our intervention. Then there are those who tell you we don't have professional services. That's where now KPMG comes in. And at times they give them services at a discount. Yeah. The only challenge is that most companies are afraid to go to such companies. They feel like they are very expensive. Yes. And yet in actual sense they have packages that can be yeah. taken on by Cost is always an issue. The same thing like you'd see at uh, MPL mm. or the East Africa. There are small packages that people can take to advertise. So it depends how much you have? You can fit there into a There is even a, a package for SMEs. Yes. But those are some of the things that we never talked about mm. 10 years ago. Mm. Yes. So it's information. Yes, you it's give information. information. Yes. So tomorrow for the gala dinner, now we've you said we start with the survey. Yes. There were forums. Yes. What were the, the forums were for the survey? Yes. Okay. Um, I can't say the forums were for the survey. What happened is that, um, as I said, it's a process and yes. there are a series of activities. Mm. One of the things that make up the activities is we have the forums. Mm -hmm. First of all, we launch where we say we've launched the top 100 survey, which yes. have been running for three months, kindly participate. Mm -hmm. So we give people a chance to participate. To submit the to information. To submit their yeah. information, okay. yes. However, the information is voluntary. We don't force anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone yes. was actually t in, in the nominees tomorrow. In the they yes, they, they brought submitted their information. information. Okay. Yes, voluntary. Mm. So what happens from there is that... Um, after people have participated, mm -hmm. then we are able to look out and uh, say, now this month we've done this. Mm. So what happens after the launch, you get to the forums. The forums are more to inspire, but also motivate them. Mm -hmm. And then those forums are based on the results for the previous year. Because okay. the previous year will show you, these are the challenges we have. Yes. This is what we are looking out for. So we sit and look at the general information report, and then we pick out the challenges. So each of the forums looks at some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. For instance, this year, we've had three forums. Our first forum was um, about, I think, taxes. Mm. And KPMG presented very well about taxes, getting people to understand. Mm. I know there was a lot of change this year, mm. if you remember financial July. Yeah. But I was saying that taxes are still a, a Yes, but also right because now. people don't understand, don't understand how they operate them, here. Yeah. So we had Peter Chambade, who is the director tax at KPMG, take people through, make them understand, but also inform them when they shouldn't go wrong because at times they go wrong unknowingly. Mm -hmm. So that was about the taxes and how the um, economy looks like and why they should remit their taxes. Mm -hmm. Then the second forum, we looked at uh, how to start small and grow big. Yes. And we hosted BMK, that is Hajibulai Muchibidige. Ah, yes. yes, you've seen. He, he He's got a great story. Exactly. He mm -hmm. said he started as a trader. Right now, he's won. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, he was awarded, I think, a Heroes Award for being the best 
the employer, the most the local employer of there, oh. where he's employing over six thousand people in Uganda, mm. and he has a chain of uh, BMK companies hotels, elsewhere, hotels cars, in Zambia, food. in mm. Tanzania, in Kenya. Yeah, so he was informing them how you start small but grow big, mm -hmm. because other people are thinking when I start small. How am I going to grow big? But BMK Or they think somebody walk, one day woke up and they were at that Exactly. Uh, yeah, point so it was business. more like to inspire them. Right mm. now, BMK is not an SME. He's actually a corporate company. Yes. And that's why I was telling you that most companies have started small. But, but they grow. They yes. I, I, I think they said we, most of our companies die in their first year. Exactly. That's too soon. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's so the too second soon. forum now was looking at uh, the journey of a Ugandan entrepreneur. Okay. And we looked at Simon Sekansha of Hardware World. Mm -hmm. We all know he was a banker, like you or myself, in the corporate world. He started small. Remember his story was he started with one million shillings and oh. 80,000 Ugandan shillings. And he was saying he rented out a place. He wasn't using it. So he tried to show people that, yes, he started with very little money right mm -hmm. now. He's over 25 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's more like to inspire them, but also to talk to them to the different aspects and how they need to manage business, encourage mm -hmm. them, and all that. So today what we are having is the conference. Okay. And like I say, the conference looks at the release of the results, mm -hmm. what has been the... But now that is the general information, because there are two types of release. Yes. General information today, tomorrow is when we release what has come out from the financials, getting right. to understand who is among the top 100 mm -hmm. and who is the winner. Mm. Yes, and then that is where now we drive all the other categories. Okay. Yes. So let, let's talk about that means that the tomorrow the Top 100 Gala Dinner. I, I, is it open to the public? Yes, it's open to the mm -hmm. public. Okay. For anybody who wants to participate, if yeah. you want to buy a table, it's 2.5 million shillings. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy one ticket, ticket it is yeah. 250,000. Mm -hmm. And then for those who want to call or make their bookings, yes. all they need to do is to call 0392. 080 mm. 708 okay and then somebody will be able to deliver their tickets all right so the yes. actual gala dinner we need to talk about mm. now the top 100 you said 196 that's yes, the that's participants. Yes. Those are the participants. Mm. And from there, we need the top 100. Yes. Help me understand. Are we giving at number 100 is the best, number one is mm. the worst? Does it flip the other way? Ours is the reverse. Okay. We start with. 100. We are now seeing 100. Okay, exactly. until you get to that. So, yes, till you get. Mm. So, literally, is uh, yes, ideally, it should be from number one to 100. Mm -hmm. But when we are letting the public know what has happened, we start from oh. the 100 okay. pers the 100 person mm -hmm. and then we get to number one. Mm -hmm. However, what is different is that we also have special categories. Mm -hmm. And those special categories we want to recognize. But for, for instance, you may find that over the years we've not had any business owned by a woman coming up as number one. What? Yes, and yet some of the things we want to do is to promote women entrepreneurs. But please tell me they were there at least in, in, in the Yes, they in were the participants. there. Yes, they were there. And in fact, in one of the categories, mm -hmm. we have the woman entrepreneur. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter whether the woman entrepreneur comes as number 199. Mm -hmm. They're still awarded. If she's something. the best, she's the best. If her company come, has come the earliest, mm -hmm. yes. We take, the, we take them on. Then we also have a category of shareholder value. Mm -hmm. That is the person who has uh, remitted much more revenues to, to the, the shareholders. shareholders. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, the reason why you look at such categories, we are thinking, okay, if you've not done very well elsewhere, there must be somewhere else where you've done, done Because well. those are some of the most That's important true. parameters that we'll look at. But much as you've say returned a lot of revenue to the shareholders, you may not have grown your revenue growth. Yeah. You understand. Then you may not have managed your um, books very well mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So what we do is uh, we award mm -hmm. the woman entrepreneur of there. Mm -hmm. And then we also award the shareholder value of rather shareholder champion yes. of there. On top of that, we also look at working capital management. Mm -hmm. That is in um, how have they dealt with their working capital. Have they been able to pay their suppliers in time and then also received mm -hmm. money in time? So you, you need to understand how they've been using their working capital. Then on top of that, we also look at um, the woman entrepreneur, like I said. Yes. Then revenue growth, somebody who has grown their revenue, revenue. consistently for the last three yes, years. Because so as Peter Chamber said, it's not yes. just about you have five billion, six billion. No. It has it been consistent? Exactly. And we look over the last three years. That mm. is why we say we need altered books of the last three years. Yes. When we are computing these ratios, we also still look at the last three years. Three years. Okay. So it is against the previous year and the current year that we get to understand mm. how exactly somebody has done. Has worked, yeah. Then on top of that, we also usually have the rural champion. Okay. Rural champion is, uh, we're not saying we're looking for a farmer 
necessarily. I was, I was, my head went there <laughs> though. <laughs> no, we're not looking at a family. Yes. We are looking at a company that operates out of Kampala. Right. As you've noticed, most of the companies want to operate here. Even when you, vi you visit Uganda Investment Authority, they will tell you they've run out of land in Namanve because mm. everybody wants to be there. Yet they have other parks elsewhere mm. in Ibarara, in Soroti, in Karamoja. People don't want to be there. So we want to award the person who has extended their business. Yes, but they're operating up country okay. because it also helps on uh, remittance of taxes in that yes. particular district. Mm. So we've been having one real champion over the years, but because this is our 10th year. The same person. Not the same person oh, okay. as in one category. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. But because this time we thought uh, it's important to recognize all regions, yes. we're having four row champions. Oh. We shall have one from the north, one from the east, mm -hmm. west, and then central. Let me ask you though. So in, in terms of the 196, okay, when you're calling yes. for submissions, mm -hmm. is this... This is not just for Kampala. No, not just for Kampala. Mm -hmm. We also do up country. For instance, uh, the results I looked at for this year, they were showing that there was 64% companies that participated from Kampala, mm -hmm. and then the other 34, 36, there were those minute figures where some people are uh, saying, yeah, we're in both areas, depending okay. on the operations. Okay. Yes, but we had over 36 mm -hmm. operating up country. Okay. Yes. So, the, so that rural, you said each of the regions mm -hmm. will have somebody win there. So A rural champion, yeah, yes. So is when you're awarding the categories, mm. uh, if I win, for example, woman mm -hmm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. can I then go ahead and be the top? Yes, okay. you can. It's very possible that, uh, because remember we say the woman entrepreneur, how do we choose that person? Mm -hmm. It must be a business owned by, the, by a, woman, a woman, and yes. it must have come the earliest among all the women businesses. Ah. So if it is number one and it, is, it belongs to a woman, yes, Even better. they can have to. Like for instance, if you can see the person who takes number one, mm -hmm. The chances are very high that they are either <laughs> the revenue growth or somewhere they're the rural or champion the or somewhere. shareholder or working mm. capital. So at least usually somebody must have a category, one of those categories they must have won at least one. Wow. Yeah, okay. it, it, as in it falls into place. So that you excelled at some other points. Yes. Then obviously excelled. And like you wouldn't be surprised if somebody has come number one, mm -hmm. they are the revenue growth person mm. and they are also <laughs> rural champion. Yeah. Because probably they operate from up country. But also their revenue growth has been very good for the last three years. Mm -hmm. But they have also come number one. Yes, yes. yes. Tell me about, uh, because with such, you wouldn't say that it's Elizabeth going to look through the books mm -hmm. and decide, no, this one deserves it and this uh, one deserves it. Yeah. So w tell us about the judging process, the criteria you follow to say, yes. you've told us about ratios yes. given. Mm -hmm. And of course, what you have to follow, your finances and your business. Mm -hmm. But are there other things that the judges might be considering or it's sort of an open in case. Okay, first of all, I want to let you know that is the, we don't have anything like judges. Mm. We have re the researchers okay. who go out, collect data or information, and for us to be able to understand that the data is, um, is, um, is the data can be used, mm -hmm. all is even authentic, yes. is that uh, on that questionnaire, we have, an, uh, we have a section mm -hmm. where we have stamps, both the financial controller, because the financial controller fills the financial questionnaire, yes. and then the MD director or the general manager the business. fills the general questionnaire. Mm -hmm. So we have two stamps that appear on that sheet. Mm -hmm. And on top of the stamps, we also have the business cards. Okay. But the person who goes through the financial questionnaire, yes. and in fact, if you note, sometimes the financial questionnaire are less compared to the general questionnaire. Mm. Why? Because the general, general questionnaires, it is uh, their opinions. And Those are easy to answer. Not even easy to answer. Your opinion matters. It doesn't yes. matter whether, as long as you're in that bracket of 36 to 25 billion, okay. it is, I, I will not say you've told me the wrong stuff. Mm -hmm. However, the financial question here, the difference is, we go back and see who audited you. Right. Are those auditors listed? Mm -hmm. We even call back to the auditors and it's find checked. out. Exactly. Mm. So already mm. the data is authentic at that point. Yes. So that is what the consultant uses as opposed to using a judge. Yes. So yes, that yes. information is already authentic. Then it comes in through to KPMG. Mm -hmm. KPMG looks at it as well. They also make a call back again to the financial people in the companies, to mm. the auditors, wow. but also to authenticate and especially the top 50. We okay. must make sure that there is no mistake. At yes. Least. Yes. Unless otherwise, like you see, People are different. Somebody may remit different books. We've heard of those things where people <laughs> remit different books <laughs> yes. for URA, for us, and <laughs> for But at least we really try very much to mm. see that the data we're going to use is actually authentic. The checks are yes. all done. So yes. is this research done from the point where I have submitted my, 
into the categories to be nominated or it's at the point where you've gone through and we're at the top 100? Uh, when you, and I wouldn't like to call it submit necessary. Mm. What happens is, yes, we advertise and we tell people submit mm. your questionnaires. Yes. If an MD or a financial controller is able to fill that questionnaire by themselves, well and good. We have them online. They pick them online, okay. we send them, and then they fill and they get back to us. Mm -hmm. But the only challenge is that it is research. There's somewhere mm -hmm. where it's a bit technical. People yes. will be telling, talking about things like skip routines, mm -hmm. go to this question, and you're thinking, oh, what is this? <laughs> what or even yes. tick all that applies, or it is a single mission. Yes. Such things, a person may not be able to understand, understand what is happening. Yes. So that is why they need to be guided by a researcher. So the general, the financial controller and the MDO director has to endorse on that questionnaire by signing. Okay. So his signature is there, his stamp is there, his business card there, mm. and his altars contacts are there. So that is good enough to show that you've actually done what? Endorsed, but you have also submitted. In the event that there's something we don't understand in your questionnaire, we shall still call back. Yes. And um, if you're able to let us know what exactly it is, but also be able to, un to uh, uh, rather, but also be able to, as in willing, to give out all the information all that the we information. require, exactly, then you qualify. Otherwise, in the event that you're not able to... It's finances. You want to hold <laughs> back a few things. Yes, which then is you okay. Can't but we are sending you one auditor mm. from KPMG, and we are saying all the... They don't even need to go out with anything. Because already you've given us something. something on the to start so with. all they are mm. doing is to look at your books. Does it align? Is exactly. everything in check? Exactly. Got you. For those simple things that we don't understand, we still call you yes. and we ask. So if you're good enough and give us the information, then we're better. But in the event that you don't, we shall still inform you that unfortunately you won't qualify because we feel <laughs> okay. there's an illness. I was about to say that, would you disqualify someone who's obviously yes, we not do. willing? Yes, we do. I hear you. We so do. it's, it's uh, the, the line yes. that you get as top 100 is yes. clearly mm -hmm. top 100. Yes. yes. Uh, this, is, this is good. I think we should all pay attention. Listen, you and I, who probably are not running businesses that are having a turnover of 360 million to 25 billion, and you're thinking I should shut out. No, 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 no. Because listen, these are the people who are giving us jobs. Mm -hmm. These are the people who are paying taxes mm -hmm. back into this country. These are the people who are innovating. Because some of you don't know, these companies are in different categories as yes. well, different yes. businesses. Yeah. And so you, you, you can learn something about them. You know, you can learn something about where their minds are because top 100 would ideally tell me you are having the companies that are if i'm not mistaken running yes the economy to be honest so and like right now when you, when you check the report for this mm. year you'll see that the construction sector has done very well mm. we have so many people in the construction sector we have so many participants in the professional services mm -hmm. and those people are willing to expand elsewhere yes because you also have a question i think which asks about where do you want to expand? expansion exactly mm -hmm. and we've seen surprisingly we've seen more companies that want to venture their businesses into Rwanda. Mm. I think as of this year, Rwanda has about 66% of people who want to wow. venture business there, and then followed by Kenya. As of last year, with the uh, instabilities that were in Kenya, it had actually gone down, mm. I think, to about 44. Right now, as I speak, it's about 63%, mm -hmm. percent, which is good. It shows, you, it, has, it shows you a number of indicators yes. of what is exactly happening. Mm -hmm. And for those who attend the conference, Dr. Fred Muhumza will be taking us through all those things. Yes, what they actually mean yes. <laughs> for our projections. So, yes. yes, do pay close attention. It's quite important for you and I, if you're in the market for looking for a job, if you're in a business that wants to sort of say, I don't want to be swallowed up by these big businesses, how do I learn from them and see how to also maybe be key players with them? Mm -hmm. And also, before I let you go, who are our partners in this? Our partners, we have DFCU Bank. Mm -hmm which has been with us for the, since last year. This mm -hmm. is their second year. We have Uganda Investment Authority, and then we have ICEA, okay. the insurance company. Then we have KPMG, who are our partners, mm -hmm. Monitor Publications Limited. Mm -hmm. And then probably one last thing I need to talk about is the fact that we also graduate companies. Oh, okay. There are companies that graduate from 25 billion shillings mm -hmm. to Onwards. another, yes. Some of those we've had people like Fresh Cuts, Graphic mm -hmm. Systems, African Queen, and a number of them. We have over 25 companies that have graduated over the last Okay. 10 years. And actually, you can see that they are doing well. When you mm -hmm. look at the likes of African Queen, you see that they have actually Owned by graduated. a lady, guys. Exactly. <laughs> you see that they've actually graduated. Yes. Mm. yes. Okay, so that, that then they leave the top 100. Yes, they leave because and they're not SMEs anymore. Yes. They've now graduated to another category, which mm. is the corporate world. Mm. And I know in the corporate, there are also about three, seg three segments. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they keep on upgrading depending. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the top 100 Galadin is happening tomorrow at Hotel Africana. 
Yes, uh, Nile Hall. Nile Hall. And the tickets for a single individual ticket is? 300,000 shillings. Okay, and, and the table of 10 is 2.5 million okay. shillings. Okay. Um, let Elizabeth just give us that number once again in mm -hmm. case you're a company and you're sitting there thinking we could benefit from this. We can come by a table and pay attention. Okay. The number is 0392. 080708. Okay. Yes. So, yes, uh, that is the top 100 uh, gala dinner. You remember the companies that are attending this, of course, the other companies attending that may not necessarily be part of the yes. top 100. Yes. <laughs> other companies probably are looking at uh, business from SMEs. Yes. Or they operate mm. their staff in uh, conjunction with B SMEs. Mm. So, there is a lot. Uh, the, the chain, my friend, <laughs> supplier, what? So, guys, th this benefits all of us. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for the time. Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow. I'll also okay. be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for Morning at NTV. Have a good day. You're watching Morning at NTV.